Welcome to the Cross TV. Welcome to Under the Claro Glory program. I'm Pastor Aida Arevalo. I'm a pastor from Claro Glory International Ministries, and I welcome you this day. Thank you for watching us. And um, yesterday was, was February the 14th, and the United States is the day of the friendship and love. Amen. So we stand to you right now. Amen. And we say, uh, and I say, the Lord bless you. Amen. Friends, happy, happy day. Day of love and, and friendship. Amen. God send you a hug. Amen. Send you a hug. And I praise the Lord and I thank the Lord because he gave us one more day of life. Amen. We never know, you know when, when our time is going to be over. But we thank the Lord every day because it's a new day, a new challenge, a new beginning. Every morning that we wake up, amen, we have to thank the Lord because he let us live one more day, amen. So I'm very happy because, uh, because he allowed us to, to be here, amen, and uh, talk to you and uh, being able to minister a little bit to you this day. Thank you for allowing us to come into your houses. Amen. And um, uh, this day, I still have more testimonies that I want to share. And uh, this testimony being in my mind the whole day since I wake up. Amen. So I want to share this testimony. And, um, you know, God is the God that is a jealous God, very jealous God. Amen. <laughs> He loves us so much, and he is, he's a jealous God. But he loves us so much. He loves us so much, amen? And we have to understand, amen, that, that the love of God is an everlasting love. Amen? We cannot compare the love of God because it's an agape love. No conditions, amen? It's a, it's a love that is unconditional. He doesn't need us to do nothing, amen? And he loves us anyway because he's a good father. And... Um, Merciful Father. Amen. And the testimony that I'm going to give today is going to be about when I, when the Lord found me, because he's the one that finds us. Amen. So the Lord found me and, and uh, he bring me to him. Amen. Um, my house become a battlefield. Amen. And uh, I had to deal with the, uh, my husband, that he was very jealous because I was getting out of his control. Because I was all the time in my house cleaning and doing things. And, and then I came out, and what happened? You know, he was, he was jealous, amen? And uh, the enemy uses whoever allowed him to, to work through, amen? And uh, it's not the person. It's the spirits that are coming against, uh, like those spirits were coming against me through him, and he didn't realize, you know, what was happening. Um, everything started going to church. Why I was going to church? Maybe I have somebody at church. Maybe I have something with the pastor. Maybe I have something with the brothers at the church. But it was out of my, my mind, you know, that. Because when you have Jesus in your heart, amen, that love fills your life. It feels you, you, you're a different person, like, like the word says. You are a new creation, a new creature, amen? In Christ Jesus, everything changes. It's no more where we used to live, amen? Everything is new because God renew everything, amen? He gives us a new beginning. And um, I passed through a lot of things for almost a year and three months, even, you know, to the point that uh, my husband one day, he pulled my hair, he bruised my face because I was going to church, amen? And uh, I didn't want to let go of God, man, for my husband because God, we only have one God, amen? And my husband, yes, I love my husband, amen? But my husband is second. God is first and my husband is the second. He has a second place in my life. First is God, amen, and, I, and he couldn't understand, you know, what was happening to the point that uh, one day he told me, I don't want nobody in my house. This is my house. I don't, want, I don't want your brothers from church. 
I don't want nobody in here. I don't want nobody singing in my house. And one morning, um, a Saturday morning, you know, after one year, and like I said, maybe four months, I was talking with the Lord one day, and I, I get up uh, in the morning. I was doing everything to cover myself, amen, because we, sometimes we allow the enemy to come, and, 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 uh, and I didn't want to give any food to, to the enemy. So I was doing everything right, leaving my house clean, the, everything cooked, ready, and everything, you know, like it's supposed to be. And uh, that day, I was coming up from, my, from the house, and I, I have a long driveway. I have, a, in the side, I have a lot of rose bushes, and everything was, you know, there were not flowers in the, in the, in the, the rose bushes because it was a season. It wasn't a season. So I was talking to the Lord, and I was telling the, the Lord, Lord, I think it's enough because, I, you know, for more than a year I've been passing through this situation, and a lot of things happened. And uh, I ask you to intervene. I ask you for divine intervention and everything. So I was going out. I went to church. And when I came back, I was, I was going in, in the driveway. And when I was going in, into the driveway, I turned to my right side where I had all those rose bushes. And uh, I saw, you know, that all the rose bushes have flowers. Huge flowers, big flowers, beautiful flowers. It was impossible, amen, because it wasn't season, like I said. And when I left, there was nothing in there. So when I entered, I saw the flowers, and I said, Lord, you did it, and you did it for me because you want me to know that you are here. And I said, okay, Lord. So that, like uh, two months later, one Saturday morning, I was still in bed, and my husband came to talk to me, and he had my Bible. And he told me, this day you're going to choose. Are you going to choose your Bible, or are you going to choose me? If you choose your Bible, I'm going to divorce you. You're never going to see me again, and everything is going to be over. So he said, I'm going to ask you with my Bible. He was with my Bible. I'm going to ask you again. And he asked me, your Bible or me, he says. And I said, my Bible. He said, maybe you didn't hear me well. I'm going to ask you again, your Bible or me? And I said, my Bible. You know, when, um, when he asked me my Bible, the Holy Spirit told me, he's not telling you or the Bible or him, he's telling you God or him. So I said, I, I, I understood, and I said, okay, Lord. He got my Bible, he threw my Bible on the floor, and he left. He left, and he was very mad. He was like a demon, amen? And when he left, he passed through the kitchen, and my mother was there. Uh, she was recovering from a surgery, so she was in the kitchen, and she, he passed through there and told my mom a lot of things. I'm going to divorce her, a lot of things. And my mom, while well, she was scared when I get up from the room, she was gone. And um, my mom was scared. And she was scared, I mean, but before something happened before that. When I was going through the, to the kitchen, I hear that somebody was opening the front door of the house. And uh, I went to open, and it was my daughter. And I told my daughter, I need the word of the Lord, but I need it right now. Come, let's go and pray. So we went to pray, and when we were praying, the Lord, the Lord told me through my daughter, I'm going to make the battle for you. You shall stand. My peace I give you, my peace I leave you. And when he gave me those words through my daughter, he gave me a vision. And I saw the mountain, and I saw Jesus, that he was kneeling down in the mountain. And even I saw that he had a white robe, and his hair was like up to here, and he was praying for me. He was make it in a session for me. So I said, Lord, I understand what you mean. Well, my husband left, and uh, three hours later, he came back. But when he came back, he was a totally different man. You know, everything that was happening that year and uh, in almost four months, 
it was gone. When he came back, he was, everything was, everything changes. I don't know how to this day, you know what happened, how the Lord deal with him in, those, in the, that time. But everything was different, totally different. And a lot of things happened. But you know, when God told me, or when my husband told me, oh God or you, when I choose God, I give God the first place in my life. And when I give God the first place in my life, he said, if you lift me up, I will lift you up. And that's exactly what I did. I lift him up, so he lift him up about all the circumstances and about all the things that I was passing through. Amen? The God that we serve loves us so much, amen? and he cares so much for us. But sometimes there's a little test that we have to pass through, amen? And that was my my first test, you know, am I going to serve God? Am I going to be with God? Or, or am I going to stay home cleaning like always? And, uh, and I say, no, I want to walk with God. I'm I going to do, yes, my things that I have to do in my house, but my time for God is my time for God. Amen? And I told my husband, if you want to go, I'm going to serve God. If you want to go, the door is open. You can go anytime that you want. But I'm going to serve God. So he accepted him in and, and uh, he supported me and everything to do. And I know that it wasn't him. Amen. It was those spirits that were trying to come against me through him. But you know, God is so faithful that he delivered us. Amen. And he take us out to the, other, uh, to the other side. Amen. We passed, yes, we passed for, through things. But we are not alone. God is with us all the way. Amen. He's taking care of us. And uh, he's preparing, you know, what he's going to do through us. Because it's not us that we do. We don't do nothing. Amen. It's, it's the Lord that is working through us. We just have to allow him to be God. Amen. And not um, getting in his way. Because sometimes we get in his way. Amen. When we are asking for help. And we are getting in his way, and he cannot do nothing, amen, because we are in the way. We don't let go what we have to let go. And when we trust in the Lord and we say, Lord, everything is in your hands, do what you want to do, amen, that's when he comes and he does everything that he needs he need to do. You know that there is nothing impossible for God? Nothing, absolutely nothing, amen. And uh, Mark 10, 27 says, Jesus looked at them and say, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. All things, all things are possible with God. But you know, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. When we do that, it's like we're saying, Lord, I'm seeking your face. I know that you are in control. I know that nothing moves if it's not your will. Amen. But if we know the will of God for us, amen, because the word of God is, is, uh, is our instruction, amen. We've been instructed, you know, what to do, what God wants from us, amen. What's the character of God? And that's what we had to know. Okay, is my God that big? Yes, he is a big, amen. He's a big God, and he can do everything for us. He can change circumstances, amen. Sometimes we, um, we make plans when we are passing through something, and we said, okay, I'm going to make plan number one, plan number two, plan number three. If the number three doesn't work, I'm going to use that number two. And if that number two doesn't work, I'm going to use the number one. But you know what happened? We're making plans, and we are not... Allowing God to be in those plans, amen. And he said, acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will direct your steps, amen. And that's what we had to do. We had to learn to release everything into the Lord's hand and allow him to be the Lord and be the God, amen. Sometimes we want to help the Holy Spirit, and we're going to help God, but they don't need help, amen. We need the help. We just have to allow God to be God. 
and to be able to do those things that he said that he's going to do, and he will do it, amen? There is nothing impossible for God. When we put all our faith and trust in God, he will help us through life problems and bless us as well. However, without faith, it is impossible to please him. When we don't have faith, we cannot please God, amen? When we believe in him, when we trust him, when we say yes, you can do it, Lord. I just put everything in your hands. That's when we are releasing our faith. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing of the word of God. When we hear his word, amen, when we read the word of God, when we have a relationship with the Lord, that faith increases, amen, increases to the way, you know, that we can say, Lord, I can do no more. I trust in you. Everything is in your hands. And I just going to wait. I just going to be patient. Amen. Because we need patience sometimes. Amen. But God never comes late. He always comes in the right timing. Amen. Sometimes we want to tell the Lord, Lord, I want this. I want it a square. I want it blue. And I want it, but I want it now. And everything is God's timing. No, not timing. Because we don't know the times. Amen. But God knows the timing. When is the right timing for us? When everything is going to come out good for us? He prepares everything for us so, so everything will be okay for us. Amen? Not rushing sometimes. Amen? Like I said, he's, he's there on time always. Always. Amen? Even, you know, that we're waiting up to the last minute, but the Lord show up because he's faithful. He's faithful and he loves us so much. Amen. Who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews 11.6. You know, when we seek his face, we're going to find him. Because the word said, if you seek me, you will find me. If you knock, it will be opening to you. And God is faithful and and a true God, he's not a man that lies, amen? He's, everything that is written in the Bible is true, amen? Because he's his word, and this word is powerful, very powerful, like a two-edged sword, like a hammer, like a fire. It's very powerful, amen? Even when we hear the word of God, and we hear the word of God when we were small, amen, that word is still in us because the word of God goes to the marrow of our bones. And when we, when we need that, the word and that power, amen, the Holy Spirit comes and he stirs up everything that is inside us, amen, all the word that is inside us. I remember Prophet Jeremiah, he used to say, oh, the word of God is like a fire in my bones. And it's like a fire in our bones, amen. And we don't have to let that fire get quenched, amen. We have to keep putting, feeding our spirit, amen, with the word of God. This is, this is our food, the spiritual food, the Word of God, amen? So we have to feed our spirit with the Word of God. When we are reading the Word, we have to read it so we can hear it. Because when we hear the Word of God, then it goes to our spirit. And our spirit gets stronger and stronger and stronger, amen? That's when our faith is growing and growing and growing, amen? So we have to believe, amen, and stand, you know, um, God says also, you know, that, that his words like a hammer. They, it breaks, it, it breaks things. And then it's like, a, like a, the love of God, you know, it conquers a multitude of sins. When I hear the, the word, you know, it's like, like the word of God penetrates, you know, even into the hearts that are stony and they are hard, amen, and they are cold. Because the word of God is like that. You know, God touches with his love. With that great and, and wonderful love, amen, he touched our heart. And he melted our hearts, amen, because he loved us in a way, you know, that, that is um, so special, no conditions, amen. Men put conditions for the love. There is, uh, the love of God is unconditional, no condition for this love. He just give it because he loves us and we are, we are his creation, amen. And God is love. What the word said, if you don't have love, you don't belong to me. Amen? Because we are his creation. Amen? 
we are his children. And that love is in us. His love is in us. Amen. And that's what he had to radiate from us, the love of God. How do you know a Christian? You're going to see the love of God through that Christian. Amen. Because God is love and we belong to him. So that love is inside us. Amen. Now, when we have faith in God, it pleases him. And we become filled with true peace and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. That's the peace of God that we cannot understand, amen? Because it's so great. This peace is so great, like the love of God. We don't understand it, amen? Uh, it's like when somebody tells us, why are you are smiling all the time? Why are you smiling? Why are you are happy all the time? How can I be happy when we have the Lord, amen? And, and uh, he gives us new beginnings every day, amen, and new chances. God is the God of many chances, not only, once, only one or two chances. He's the God of many chances. So he gave us the opportunity, amen? He gave us the opportunity to show his love and his mercy and his kindness, amen, for all of us. And we have to understand, amen, the love of God that is so great. Jesus replied um, in Philippians 4, 7, what is appointed of faith, uh, but worry, so do not let doubt enter into your mind. For after all God has said, amen, don't worry because after all that God said, And he said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there something too hard for me? Jeremiah 33, 3, verse 27. And it is also written, When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be in peace with him. Amen? So he makes our enemies be in peace with us. Amen? This is a mighty and awesome God, a powerful God. And he knows the plans that he has for you and for me and for every one of us, amen? Those plans to prosper us, those plans to change our lives, amen? When, when we need a change, those plans to deliver us, those plans to fill us, those plans to anoint us, to cleanse us, to do the work, amen, for a preparation for what he is going to use us, amen, or the calling that we have in, his, in, our, in our lives, God is so great and, and so awesome, amen? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding, amen? That's what he said. When we trust in him, things start changing, amen? It's like seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added into you, amen? That's what the Lord says, amen? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your understanding, amen? That's one of the first commandments, love the Lord with all your heart. And that's the way that we had to love him because he loved us first, amen? And he wants the best always for us. You know, the Jesus Christ, our Lord, being the King of kings and the Lord of lords, came into this world to give his life for us, amen? He came to give his life as a ransom, amen? Because we needed to be savior, saved. Because Adam and Eve sinned in the paradise and we came out of the grace of God. Jesus Christ, our Lord, had to come. And he bought us at a price and he paid with his precious blood for our salvation, for our restoration, for our healing, for our deliverance. All the promises that we have in the Bible, they've been paid by the Lord because he paid with his blood. With every drop of blood that he shed on the cross of the Calvary, he paid for something that we need now, amen? All these things we're not going to need when we're going to be in heaven, amen? We're not going to need nothing because there's not going to be sickness, there's not going to be disease, there's not going to be starvation. So what we need now, we're not going to need it later. We're not going to need money later, amen? Jesus said, I'm going to go and prepare a mansion for you. In the house of my father, there's many mansions. 
and he's preparing a mansion for you and for me and for everyone, amen? But there is one condition, amen? If we want to receive that mansion that he promised to us, the way for that mansion is Jesus Christ, amen? When we receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, that's when the doors of heaven open, amen? He is the key, amen? So the doors of heaven will open to us. And all those promises that God promised to us, they come, amen. They come to us because he promised that mansion. And he said, it's ready for us when we're going to be, when we're going to, when we're going to be ready to, to go to the Lord, amen. And when he called us, amen, in another way, because he's the one that called us because he have a time is appointed, amen. And he knows when we're coming and he knows when we are going. But are you know where are you going? Do you know where you're going to go after you die in this world? Are you sure? Where are you going to go? If you don't have Jesus in your heart, I don't think that you're going to go there because he is the only door. If you don't have the son, you don't have the father. And it's, it's as simple, it's simple as that, amen? But if today you want to receive Jesus in your heart as your Savior and Lord, this is the right time, in, and it's just to make a confession and believe with your heart, like a Roman says, Romans 10 says, believe with your heart, amen? When we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, amen, and we receive, then we'll, that's when we have salvation. So I'm going to lead you to the sinner prayers, wherever you are, amen? And just say these words, amen. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I receive you this day. Heavenly Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit and power. And I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father, for erasing my sins. I thank you for a new life, Lord, because you're going to start a new life starting today. Everything is going to change in your life if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. If you need prayer, now you have the right as son and daughter of God, amen? If you need prayer for healing, deliverance, restoration, or whatever need you have, I'm going to pray for you right now and in coming in agreement with you, amen? Because God loves when we pray in agreement. He answers our prayers, amen? So let's pray, amen? Father, in the name of Jesus, heavenly Father, right now, Father, my brothers and sisters that are watching this program, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to touch them, Heavenly Father. I ask you to release your anointing to go forth, Father, and right there where they are, Father, touch their bodies, Heavenly Father, speak healing upon their bodies, Heavenly Father, right now. In the name of Jesus, from the top of their heads to the sole of their feet, Lord God, in Jesus' name, if they need deliverance, Father, Father, we ask you right now, Father, we come against all those attacks of the enemy that are coming against them. Father, we break it right now in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. We cancel all assignments of the enemy right now. We cancel assignments of poverty right now in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. Father, we speak prosperity upon them, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, deliver and restoration, Heavenly Father. Restore what been lost, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, release, Father, right now that anointing to go forth into their houses, into the places where they are, Heavenly Father, right now, and touch them, Lord God. Touch them, Father. Give them a new beginning, Father. A new beginning, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. And we thank you, Father, for this day. We glorify you and honor you, Lord God, because you are so good and you love us so much. And we thank you for that love, Lord. We thank you for that agape love that you have for us. Heavenly Father, be glorified. And I thank you, my friends. I thank you, brothers and sisters, for watching this program. We thank you for watching The Cross TV and Duarte. Thank you. And I thank everyone that is working at the station. I thank you, and, and I, we pray for you. We pray for, for everyone in this nation, amen? Things are happening, and we, are, we have to be in guard, amen? And we have to pray, not allowing the enemy to come and mess up our country, amen? So please pray for the nation. Pray for the nations of the earth, amen? Because there's a lot of nations that need help too. So pray for the nations, amen? 
So God will bless you because he blesses us when, uh, when we pray, when we come in agreement, amen? This is coming in agreement and blessing uh, the nations of the world, amen? God is working in all of us, in all of us, amen? Because he loves us, he loves us. So he is faithful God, very faithful God. Thank you for watching us. And uh, I will see you next month. I think it's going to be the first, the first day of next month that is going to be March, March the 1st. Amen. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. I speak blessings, blessings into you. I, I lose your finances to come into your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against pain. I come against pain in the spine, the spinal cord. I come against pain in the pains in the head, amen, in the legs. I come against all those, those sickness and diseases, amen. Amen. I, keep, I can come in against them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you.